Yes, deprecation. De decomposing. You're depriving yourself. Okay, I didn't mean to pick that one. Decompose. Oh! Eekabokum. Unfortunately, this is a regular occurrence to me. Misty, go eat food. How much punishment do these guys take? Enough. God damn it. Oh, constant banjo kazooie quotes become something that is commonplace for you because I'm genuinely curious. Go. No. Go. I'm being no. Flourishing. We're asking questions here. <laughs> this is a serious conversation, Riley. What are you doing? <laughs> is mayonnaise an instrument? It's your no. Chat it's on a mayonnaise. There's thing. one no, thing I will shut Riley mayonnaise and anybody is down for is doing a goofy voice. Because I know Riley will do it, and he won't stop doing it, and that's the problem. What do you mean? Well, yeah. <laughs> what? Not, yeah. oh, no. So you prove her point even more. Yeah. Murder. I am who I am. <laughs> it was just a couple I am who I am. It becomes like a repeated thing. Oh, Riley nice. is who he is. What is this here? <gasps> is insight based on wisdom? Uh, yeah. Right. Group hug! I thought it was. No, don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> Group hug! Okay. <laughs> Unzip me. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is how a unicorn walks. Walks. You know this is how a unicorn talks. I was listening to the soundtrack at work today. <laughs> I still have not seen the movie yet. It's this it's is a how a unicorn walks. It's cute. I'll say that much. Honestly, I mean, if you like miss the movie, really you're cute. not going to miss much. But it is cute. It is cute. <laughs> like I've heard it's cute. I just need to like actually set aside time to watch it. You can just watch it while you're like doing it. something else. Though. Give it seven and a half out of ten. It's it was... about. Yeah. I feel it's like seven and a half is a bit too generous. I, I, I'd say like six and a half, maybe. Yeah, my, my rating is like a six. I still like I, it though. I, I think it was I'm like an eight. I'm easily impressed. I thought I it was an eight, yeah. Was the, I think it was Like animation wise, I liked it and I liked that they actually made them in a 3D style that wasn't completely fucking atrocious. It, it was oh, yeah. mainly just like in terms of the story and the fact that it didn't really have anything new to offer even though it acted like it was going to answer a whole bunch of questions but yeah, instead see. it just posed them and then it was just like yep nah, that 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 to think about it be gone he then one question i viewed it as purely just an intro to this series it's like they're gonna bring up a bunch of questions not answering because they want you to watch the following tv show i mean yes but really nothing kind of like i feel like it's almost a requirement that it, if something is going to ask a lot of questions, it should answer like at least one of them before it ends, because otherwise it's just like it's just there to oh, so no basically one. like set the tone and nothing else. Oh, oh rats! Damn. Ha oh, I got it. Because it's basically like, oh, what's this? What's that? What's that? What's this? What's this? What's this? What did that? Yeah, who, who caused that? What happened to this? Oh, well, you're gonna have to watch the series to find uh, yeah. out. I feel like the movie, uh, the setting of Equestria in the movie is sort of like an alternate version of Equestria because the everything it's all that like confirmed. every every like other uh, I guess being that comes up once Discord is spread throughout the land because the ponies hate each other isn't there anymore. It's just racism yeah. now. You mean the uh, you mean the uh, Wendigos? Love yeah. Racism. Well, yeah. here's the thing, though. When the Wendigos oh, were a thing, it's because all the three pointed tribes were living together, and there was, like, physical, tangible discourse. Now they're far apart. There is also something I do gotta get, bring up, because there is a bunch of stuff, narrative-wise, that I take issue with that I'm not gonna get into, because I know it's boring, and I know people are sick and tired of hearing me talk about it, but fucking... I, I would say that with the Wendigo thing, at the end of Friendship is Magic, from my understanding, that final rainbow blast appeared to just fucking kill them. And that's just, like, I, that's just assuming, and I know it might not actually count, but it's like... 
fucking... Wait, the rainbow blast killed what now? The Wait, he, like, at the end Windigos. of Friendship is Magic, oh, where they had that big end game scene thing, where like fucking you know all of the good there guys. Were Windigos do in the end? The f yeah, the Windigos come because everybody fucking hates each other again, and everything's getting really cold. Oh yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. And then like the their final flash rainbow attack just purges the Windigos, and then they just depower the villains the before the villains, including a child, get turned to stone. Like it's no big thing. And then we never, I we saw, just never see the Windigos again. Honestly, that I just reminds me to this quote from a really badass fucking, like, cop that yeah. basically discharged, like, three magazines into somebody because he wouldn't fucking die. And they're, like, basically, like, the, the cop was facing, like, a whole bunch of media backlash because why do you need to discharge your weapon that many times at a person that's been shot 12 fucking times and hasn't gone down yet and is still continuing yes! to assault you? It's really fucking stupid. But basically, like, the w one of the fucking people in charge basically had only one response to that, and he said it's simple. Because evil can never be dead enough. Which I gotta say is a really badass fucking quote. Like, holy shit. Yeah, why did I discharge my fucking weapon 37 times into him? Because he's not fucking dead enough. <laughs> I just want to point out that they call oh, no, the bloopers like bloopers. Oh, sorry, go I just wanted to point out that in the last fight, all the bloopers were called bloopers, and it was really funny to me. <laughs> like, they misspelled blooper. They're called bloopers, bloopers. in this game. Mm. Fucking awesome. It's canon. Yeah, it's incredible. Canon. Blooper. Yeah, no, that fucking... It's canon. That, that Hello, not death. dead enough. That not dead enough thing just reminded me of Hello. the castle crashes thing where I just kept abusing well, that one barbarian. Well, shit. Yeah, he's kind of a little bitch. Yeah. Logic, he's dead. Fuck off. For me, anything he's gets fucked. brownie points. Any any piece of media gets brownie points for me if they can keep the the continuity well. And they went. Yeah. They went. They did a really good job with like the background ponies that were in the film. Mm. Uh. And I don't know that uh, that made me chuckle a bit. Yeah. And it, it, the continuity of like the world building stuff wasn't really there, but the 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 movie itself and the uh, the plot of the movie itself handled itself really well, especially within the characters that are, that are in it. I yeah. Anyway. That's why. Yay! I, I enjoyed the movie itself. Is it perfect? Like in the universe that they already created? No, but no. just watching it was fun. Yeah, ah. it's good eye candy is what it is. Yeah. I've, it is actually, good eye candy. I've actually heard some people theorize that it's actually an alternate timeline of uh, Equestria, but I'm not, that. I'm not for a me. while I was Hey Robin! Was like... hmm? Hey Robin, you see what's Robin? on the screen? A problem? <laughs> <laughs> you cut out! <laughs> Monkey! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Fucking internet don't like monkey. <laughs> monkey. That's, a monkey. Mon That's a big monkey. That's a big monkey. Thanks got chains on it. Is it <laughs> oh no, Robin. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, all right, calm down. It's literally just monkey. called Chained Kong. Chain Kong. Listen, it's been a long time since I've monkeyed. Okay. It's been it's been a long time since uh, the the internet was graced with one of its greatest videos. Yeah, I still love that. Oh. Okay, I just want to point out one of my favorite. Uh, this is just the best comment. Uh, they just wrote, "Donkey Kong got arrested for assault and battery." That's just really <laughs> funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> Donkey Kong has been arrested like, for tax evasion. I can't just, wait to hear this. It reads like those Rogan fucking surreal Kong. fucking memes. <laughs> where it's like, <laughs> she will not be participating in Smash Ultimate as he has recently been convicted of tax evasion. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh! just Rogan. <laughs> I'm Donkey one? Kong. Okay, guys, I'm gonna step out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get food. Right, okay. Get, yes. You should. See you later. Stop hurting Bye. yourself. Bye. Mm -hmm. I Mario's will try dead. to stop hurting myself. I will only promise no, to food. try. Just kidding, Lamau. Get up. No longer dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love dead you guys. Bye-bye.
Oh, bye. Bye, Frando. Th that's what Who Ninja thinks, by the way, Myth. Where, like, it they talk about the main six in G4 as if they're, like, Greek history of this of this well, new movie. Yeah. No, not that. I was saying, I thought it might be a situation where the main six, everything we saw in G4, was a fictional tale in the G5 movie. Or it's mm. like they just read store like made up stories about everything well, we watched in the show. The dad is just actually, a brony. <laughs> and it wasn't actually history. Yeah, but then the fact that the dad actually Damn. studies this and has the map and research, it's like, well, no, it seems like it actually is part of the I history. I mean, Gen 4 that. did start with and end with a book. Yeah. Maybe it's an interpretation. Maybe it's <laughs> Celestia telling a whole new story. I because personally like, think it's just, it's literally just as the title says, and it's a new generation. It's just, they've gone and fucked it up somehow. They've, they've gone and like, they've gone yeah. and caused some kind of colossal catastrophic fuck up to, to end yeah. all that, fuck ups, really. Holy that shit! That is really what happened. I'm just saying there was a point in time where I thought maybe that isn't the case. We're going to get something different. I'm just saying, maybe. I'm My just family. saying, this is what happens when you try to make a friendship school. This is what happens this is when what you grade happens when based you... on social interactions. Yep. This is what happens when you try to grade some- when you try to grade friendship. Mm -hmm. Can you I'm imagine so fucking fuck spending it. all Great day every day friendship. with your fucking- Can you imagine spending all day every day with your fucking squad only yeah. to get like a fucking C- in what? friendship from your bitch teacher? <laughs> hey! Hey! Wait! Friendship! You cut Fuck out yeah, there. dude. Imagine majoring in French. Fucking hell, internet! Imagine majoring in friendship. Imagine. <laughs> See, it was really funny because she cut off from me, so I just sort of imagine majoring in French. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, and then, and then afterwards, majors. and then afterwards, says, God damn! <laughs> That's what it sounded like. Listen, I yeah. hate my school's internet. It's Imagine so annoying. Imagine child psychology with a minor in pain. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> oh! Oh, okay. Yeah, no, fucking... Like, my whole thing, continuity-wise, with the movie is the only thing I can really say is that to all of those people who really wanted a sequel to, like, Friendship is Magic, including myself at one point when I still cared, all I have to say is I kind of wish we all shut the fuck up now. Yeah. Yeah, let it be its own thing. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. You know, Josh Scorcher was thinking of doing a negative review on the movie. And oh, I told yeah. him that that's going to be a hilarious meme because there's going to be a lot of people that are going to compare him to Sprout yeah. if he does that. Compare him to who? I saw it. To Sprout. Sprout. Villain. I saw his live tweeting on the movie. <laughs> yeah, same. I was just like, uh. He, he, honestly, was, he, he was, was too nitpicky. He was just. Honestly, no, he was voicing a lot of the same issues that I had with it, which was just, like, everything felt really cookie-cutter. I think that was probably the biggest issue, is, like, yeah, it had a beginning, middle, and ending, but there didn't really feel like there were any stakes to it, you know what I meant? Like, nothing really felt like it had any sort of weight, because it was just like, oh, we did this thing, and that just perfectly lined us up for this thing, or, oh, we need this thing to do this thing, and then we get that thing in the next scene like, like i'm trying to avoid spoilers for obvious reasons but like i feel like people know what scenes i'm talking about because there weren't that many of them in the film there really weren't mm -hmm. there were really like four sections to the movie earth pony town pegasus town unicorn town back to earth pony town i mean honestly that's clean house <laughs> Woo! Oh, very nice racism, scared me racism, racism. i was very I loud I feel like that was probably one of the biggest things about it is that it just it sort of felt like another one of those movies where it's like you see the trailer and you've seen the film now because really there wasn't much difference between them for me. So being like, perfectly yeah. honest, it was basically like okay, cool. I remember all this stuff from the trailer, uh, all this new context that it has. It adds what the fuck? Pretty much nothing because it was stuff that I already knew from the trailer. Jesus. Oh, giant frog thing, yeah. Oh, shit, the fucking, uh, the Mimic had a big-ass dragon inside it. Apparently! That's uh, yeah, one. the Mimic has problems inside of it. Oh. Very big ones. I really 
Oh, oh great, that Penelope song is in my head now. Reference... Did you just reference Fable? Wait, no, his name is in Chester and Fable. Is it? No, it's Chester. Chester? Did it? What the fuck is Chester? Talk God! About Cheetos mascot. How much punishment does this dragon take? <laughs> okay, no, I don't know why. It's, it's like I saw a mimic, and then I saw someone write some rendition of a name with the words. Oh, you motherfucker! Like, okay. About that one thing from Fable Two, and it's like no. Because You're gonna be a problem. It's not what I thought it was. Ah, uh, shit. I was thinking Chesty, not Chester. Oh damn it! I missed my chance with the double hit. Well, there I finally got the expression I was going for. Okay. Oh boy, Pink. Drawing with them. Damn it! And Bowser's dead. Shit. Hey, right, people are finally reacting to the fucking updated flying type EV design I made. Cool. Crap. Oh, crap. Crap. Oh, crap. <laughs> Mario just takes zero damage from a wall of fire. Okay, uh, hang on. Oh. I mean, to be fair, he's Mario. He fucking shoots fireballs out of his hands on, like, the daily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like out of all the characters in Mario, Mario and Bowser would be the two that I would expect to walk through a wall of fire completely unharmed. Okay, uh, yeah, group hug! Nope. They've, they'd probably fight each other in a fire. They've done that. They've fought in the center of a fucking collapsing star once. Oh, yeah. Dude, <sighs> Jesus. Super Mario Galaxy was fucking wild. Yeah, it was really fucking it. crazy, honestly. On the not so long list of games I wish I finished. Just the Super Mario Galaxy games. Jesus! I finished the story of Super Mario Galaxy, but I never did like all the like a hundred percent shit for it. Hmm. I don't think I ever gathered like all a hundred or <sighs> 22 stars or however fucking many it is. I mean, how many fucking moons are in Super Mario Odyssey? Like 400, 500? No, I think there's like around a thousand. Oh. No, damn it. This guy's just hiding in the corner. I don't know, that was another game that I mostly just sped through. Well, not so yeah. much sped through, but like, I didn't really give a shit about doing any of the side content. Aside from, like, when I was passing through. Honestly, it was probably my favorite Mario game in a while. Breath of the Wild was probably my favorite Switch title to come out in recent years, which is really funny considering it was literally the first one. E. Which, I, I just gotta say, first off, congrats to the fucking team that worked on that shit, because that, that, that release was damn near flawless. Because I... A lot what? of fucking new releases that have been coming out have just been such fucking horseshit. Like, they've had so many day one issues and shit like that. I don't remember a lot of that for Breath of the Wild. No. I remember it was just mainly the game came out, people fucking played it, and they're like, damn, this shit's pretty fucking good. I think Breath of the Wild is the first game I've ever seen where people tried to make a perfect storm and actually got the perfect storm they tried to make. It wasn't like the accidental FNAF or just the out of nowhere of the, any other game, it was just like, no, this game was designed to captivate you, and what did it know. fucking do? Like, <laughs> the, fu the fucking durability system I hated with the passion. Oh no, the durability system is shit. To me, any game I, where the durability system is I didn't like it either, but it became basically a non-issue as I started getting further into the game, because I was literally getting, like, pretty much so much high fucking level gear at such a rapid rate, I was almost never in a situation where it's like, okay, I'm completely out of weapons here, uh, I'm fucked over now because I have nothing to fight with. God there damn was, it! It was always like, oh yeah, I have this fucking great sword that I looted from that chest like fucking three dungeons ago. Fuck yeah, let's just bust this out and fucking kill him with it. I'm, 
Yeah, I, I have know. to turn in my Switch owner card because I still have not played Breath of the Wild. I've owned my Switch for two and a half years and I just have never bought it. What the fuck is wrong with you, actually? Like So dude, many things. Uh, literally, don't even fucking look. I, don't even fucking look at me. Don't even, don't even fucking look at me. I Go just away. haven't... What's wrong with you? I haven't gotten around to it yet. I still, like... I no, still have I games should. that I haven't fucking played yet that I bought. I just, I just had a fucking GG genius moment where I was like, I should have convinced my little sister to give Breath of the Wild with the Switch, but no, she got Mario Kart and Minecraft instead. I mean, that's what I got. I got Mario Kart and Stardew Valley and Mario Odyssey when I first got my Switch. You say like it's a bad thing, Logic. Yeah, those games are fucking okay, great. My, okay, my whole thing about it is that my little sister had Minecraft on her Xbox, which still kind of functions. But fucking, like, I don't know. It's her choice whether or not she wants to get Minecraft again for the third time. I'm still kind of worried about But I'm about just like, that. I want you to experience a new game. Because <laughs> she doesn't even play Minecraft anymore. Fuck, I dude! I want you to experience culture. Is there something I'm missing here? Because this guy is taking so much punishment and he keeps recovering. Um, is there a which secret? one? Is the the treasure chest testing? guy. The mimic. Oh, the mimic. How much is he recovering? 320. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fuck. <laughs> That's a lot. What the fuck do I have to do? Thank you. Hello. She has Hello. more like cheats around my right. Listen, we're not going to talk about the fact that I own Stardew Valley on like three platforms already. Well, now we're going to talk about it. Well, now we're going to talk it's, about it's, it. This is an intervention. Stardew Valley is maybe my favorite game ever made. It's so I fucking good. I feel like talk about it, but let me talk about it. <laughs> I mean, the let me. I just got oh, it. my voice is connected. God, I hate Discord, and I hate my internet. Discord. Uh, Discord. Discord. Hey, Dix. Who's been joining? No, Dix. Discord. Discord. I'm hiding at the moon because it's the. I will never forgive Geeky Steven for introducing me to the Donkey Kong Country cartoon. Oh god. Uh, it was no. terrible. I love it. I watched it as a kid. Oh my god. <laughs> it was one of the dumbest Still shows. I'm constantly baffled that that show existed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, but the soundtrack does slap. I didn't remember it having songs, though. That was the funny thing about it. I didn't remember the Maybe I this... blocked out the songs from my memory. You got fucking Mandela <laughs> there are affected. Some actual... There are some actual bangers, though, in that soundtrack. The pirate song, I think. Yeah. I can't remember what episodes we was like, okay, this did not have to go as hard as it did. Oh, also apparently Vincent Tong is gonna be at Babscon. 